What's going on, everybody? So today's the day. Well, yesterday was the day that I officially got my first vending machine for my business. I purchased it last night. I got the Electrovin VS99 model. So I pretty much lucked out with this uh, machine. Like literally, like I got it for a steal, I would say. Um, I was looking up on OfferUp for, um, you know, machines in my area to see if I could, you know, try to price one out that I wanted. And I came across a post where a guy was um, selling six of them and he wanted $300 a piece. But, you know, I kind of took a chance on it just to see um, where his head was at. And, you know, I threw out 450 for two machines and he said, yeah. Um, so I went out there. I went out there for, uh, you know, to get the machines or whatever, and that was like an hour away um, to do that. And when I got there, the guy, he, this was the first machine that he showed me, this one right here. Um, you know, it powered up fine. Everything was good. The lights work. Um, I had some dollar bills that I had brought with me to try, to try the um, bill acceptor, and I had brought some coins with me to, uh, you know, make sure that the coin mechanism was good and that it was going to um, spit out change and stuff. And, you know, everything worked out. Um, but I only ended up leaving with um, one machine just because um, the dude, uh, when he had the machines, I guess the person that he paid to move the machines from his location, he didn't secure them correctly. And I guess coin mechanisms fell out, you know, um, the power cords weren't, uh, they were severed off the machine, so they were literally no good. Um, he wasn't too happy about that, but, you know, I guess that's the name of the game. Um, so I only got out there with one one machine, and, you know, this, this is it. Um, so when I went out there, I asked the dude, like, do you know, like, how to work the machine? And he, you know, made it seem like, you know, he knew what was going on and that it's really easy or whatever. But every single question that I asked him, he really didn't know. He said his brother knew. So luckily, you know, I was able to test out a couple things and just make my own decision based off, you know, if it was good or not. Um, so when I bought this machine, I literally bought it without knowing how to change the prices because he couldn't tell me how to change the prices. But I didn't want to leave, you know this machine that's you know it's it's good it works you know everything works on it the coils work um the coin mechanism work the dollar mechanism works like everything works on it the only thing that i don't know how to do is change the prices so i bought it anyways i was supposed to buy it for 250 but i told him since he can't show me how to um change the prices you know i'm gonna you know i'm not gonna give you the price that you know we agreed on because you didn't hold up your bargain so i um paid 200 for this machine so um, I really feel like, you know, I got a, I got a deal. Um, so with this machine, I learned how to change the prices. Luckily my wife came down and she helped me. So I will be doing another video on how to change the prices. Um, so you guys can see that, but literally I just want to show you, um, just the machine in itself. I've, I've already showed you a couple times, but just a little bit more into depth. Um, when the guy had the machine, he added, the LED lights and uh, I'm not really sure how to do that but I'm definitely gonna learn how to do that um, so I'll just show you the LED lights and show you his connections and well the connections he had for it and stuff so here's the LED lights <clears throat> he had a little power cord that goes here that's the power cord for it and it comes down to here there's like a little thing you can plug in because when I first brought it back the lights weren't on and I couldn't figure out what was going on but I guess he unplugged it um, when we were moving it so I'm just gonna go over just like the basic things um, that I looked at the first things that I looked at on the machine so obviously I asked him if he had the key so that was the first question if we can even open it up but luckily it was already open when we got there um, so there's the key in it right there it works um, so first things first, I just simply made sure like just all the connections were connected like literally so Just did a little brief scan just making sure there was no loose ends um, Everything seems readily Connected um, there was a couple things that weren't connected um, This right here, but it says 
wires away from the door. Uh, it's not really focusing. I'm using my camera phone. Um, but yeah, everything was pretty much connected. Um, luckily, um, when we opened up the scene, there's kind of a like a little menu and tell you what to do, which I thought was pretty cool um, that they had that written there because, you know, even though he really didn't know how to work the machine, there's, you know, some sort of direction for me to go to figure it out, which I did figure it out thanks to my wife. Um, so I opened up the bill um, acceptor. Uh, these, this cash right here is actually not my money. Um, it was in the machine. Um, it wasn't in the bill. Um, except there it was it was actually behind the coils in the way back like through there and I was I just saw it and I was like hey there's some dollars back there it was like five dollars so yay uh, came up already you know my money's already coming back um, yeah so you know this was the cash was already in there so everything's good it works um, so Right now, the next thing is, you know, just trying to find a place for it to go, you know. Um, hopefully, I can put it in a location that's fairly popular. Um, I'm actually looking to put it in my church because my church uh, vending machine is, now, is no good. It's terrible. So, hopefully, I can um, get that one in there. But, yeah, this is, this is pretty much it, guys. Like, I'm just super excited on just actually, like, physically purchasing the machine. Like, I feel like... You can start the business, you can go through all this stuff and, you know, with, you know, filling out the paperwork and all that stuff. But literally, like, I feel like it doesn't start until you buy your first machine. So, you know, I'm just super excited. Um, I'm going to definitely come with some more videos on um, on how, you know, to tweak the machine, how to work the machine a little bit more in depth um, once I actually get, like, the process down. Um, so I'll definitely be getting back to you guys on that. But. Yeah, just another look, and then I'm going to end the video. Real quick, the guy <clears throat> pretty much gave me the rundown on the coin mechanism. So pretty much, you know, when people put coins in the coin mechanism, they're going to be filling it, you know, by filling it up and replacing the money that's going to... Um, fall out here um, that's probably not the best way to explain it so pretty much like when I first put the machine in here I'm gonna fill it all the way up like completely so it's good so people can get their change but over time once this is filled you know this is why there's an overflow so this I would never take any money out of here because this is where people are gonna get their change from but whatever's left the overflow is gonna go in here and there's already some change in there obviously the pennies didn't work I just threw those in there just because we were using it just to make sure it worked um, but yeah you could lock that if you want but I don't see a need why you would need to lock it um, but yeah so I mean now it's just pretty much just finding products to put in it that I think they're gonna be good um, I'm pretty gonna I'm pretty much gonna put probably some mints down here if I can get it in my church just because that's just something that people that's like a hot commodity in churches so um, we'll see either some gum or some mints or something um, if you guys have any other ideas that on um, stuff that can fit here let me know in the comment section just because you know I want to explore all my options um, you know if you can if you guys have like a bestseller or anything that you know works for you in your machine especially with something with this bar here, I'm pretty sure it's just for like crackers and candy bars, but if you know something else that I could place here, let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the video right now just because, you know, there's people driving around and they're making a whole bunch of noise. So um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, I'm gonna place this on here tonight, hopefully. So hopefully you guys can see this by the end of the night. Um, everybody take care. Thanks for watching my videos. Like, subscribe, comment, and send me a message if you have any questions. I'll be talking to you guys soon. Take it easy, guys. Thanks.